up here on Lionhead again. Um, Watkins Creek drains down this way. We're sitting on the debris of an avalanche. You can see an avalanche, another one out in the distance. Both of these actually broke near the ground, which is really scary because it means they're big and the debris piles and we've seen one, two, three that have broken near the ground. Uh, one happened just maybe this morning or yesterday. These two are about four days ago and, uh, and they have big, deep piles of the debris. Um, there are a lot of slopes out there that look pretty tempting. If you ride on those, here's our clue from Mother Nature that you could probably trigger another one just like that and it'll, it'll be big and it'll make a lot of debris that could bury you pretty deeply. They'll run further and wider and farther than you think. Take that into account when you're, when you're selecting your safe zones and thinking about where to park. Give these big slopes a little extra room. This is the snowpack on Lionhead and it's pretty simple. Down here we have some facets which actually surprisingly caused a few avalanches around here. That's scary because if avalanches break on this, this is our slab. That formed in early December. From December to mid-January we had this much snow and then we formed a new weak layer at the end of January that was then buried with this snow that has fallen in February. Last week a guy got buried here on Lionhead on an avalanche that broke on this layer and just today we've discovered uh, three avalanches that have broken on this layer down here, these older facets. So um, if you do trigger a slide around here, it's going to be a pretty meaty slab and uh, if you're watching your buddies climb, make sure you're parked way away because these slides with this big thick slab can run really far.